Does the name Sadesh Aman ring any bells with you? No? I wouldn't have thought it would do. Let me tell you about it. How do everyone? Welcome back to the channel for a Tuesday. Hope you're doing all right. I tell you, when I read stories like this, I do think twice about whether I should cover them or not because it's an area where I'm not fully familiar with, yet I'm curious enough to dip my toe in the water and see what happens. Well, Sadush, Sadesh Aman, sorry, was a young 20-year-old man who unfortunately is no longer with us. And the reason is he was shot by the police after he stabbed two people in Streatham High Street in 2020. Thankfully, the two people that he did stab survived their injuries and are still with us today, although probably quite traumatised. But the thing I have to wonder is what led to this situation in the first place. Have a check of this. Now, he was sentenced to prison because he was found guilty of preparing to commit terrorist acts. And he even had intentions to try and find a way of killing the Queen as well. That's how seriously fucked up this young bloke was. But he was radicalised and uh, obviously brainwashed into a pattern of thinking that changed his destiny to the fatal one that he experienced. But in prison, he didn't change his ways and he was even seen to attempt to radicalise other people as well and there were concerns made about this when he was due for release and they were asked to delay releasing him because of these concerns and it never happened out he came and within a matter of hours if not days the attack in Streatham happened two people got stabbed he ended up dead the system failed here he shouldn't have been let out if there was a concern for public safety of that level in my opinion he should have been kept where he was but if you look right back to the beginning how was he radicalized in the first place who were his peer groups who was he going to see what was he reading online what was he exposed to i know 20 years old you're a man you know fully grown and responsible for your own actions but in my view you're not grown up up here and you're still young enough to be impressionable and moulded into another shape to what you are and it can end in disaster as it has done in this case. You look at Shemima Begum, another example. She went to, you know, Syria as a young girl, a young jihadist bride she became. She was obviously involved in a lot of things that she wasn't able to, you know, deal with and she's in a situation now where she wants to come back to this country and we don't want her. But she crossed the line between an innocent young victim and someone involved in atrocities. That's why she's in the position she is. I do get very worried about this uh, older lady who won her citizenship back in the uh, courts and wonder if that's a precedent that might be set quite dangerously so for everybody else. But Going back to the original point, I digress. How was this guy radicalised in the first place? How can we put a stop to this material that they're exposed to at such a young age, which moulds their psyche and leads to situations like this where people get hurt and killed, including the boy himself? Such a tragic waste of life, and I do wonder if it will ever be stopped. I'm interested in your feedback on this because everybody's views range from, oh yeah, he deserved everything he got to, similar to what I'm saying now. You know, let's have a discussion and see what we come up with. Anyway, this is the last video of the day. I'm going now because I'm boiling over in this car and can murder a pint. This is the Gabby Cabby. Till tomorrow, signing off. Toodaloo.